all you lovely kings, queens, and in-betweens, my name is Elaine, and today I'm going to be talking about the graphic novel known as The Moth Keeper by Kay O'Neill. In this graphic novel, Anya has at last become a moth keeper, entrusted with safeguarding the lunar moths that make the night lily flower bloom annually. Her village depends on this flower to flourish, and Anya is eager to demonstrate her value and express her gratitude to her friends through her deeds. However, reality might not match her expectations of what it means to be a moth keeper. Each night in the desert is solitary, with just a single lantern providing light. Despite this, Anya is determined to prove her worth and honor her friends and her village. But is the sacrifice worth it? As she uncovers a threat that could jeopardize everything she is meant to protect, her village and the lunar moss face the potential fallout. K. O'Neill's The Moth Keeper is a beautifully crafted tale that combines whimsical fantasy with poignant themes of duty, sacrifice, and self-discovery. This graphic novel, which seamlessly blends enchanting art with a touching narrative, captures readers with its delicate storytelling and evocative illustrations. The story follows Anya, a young girl who has recently become the Moth Keeper, a revered role responsible for guarding the lunar moss that enabled the night lily flower to bloom each year. This flower is vital to the survival of her village, and Anya's journey is as much about personal growth as it is about fulfilling an essential role in her community. O'Neill excels in creating a vivid and immersive world. She crafts a desert environment that feels both otherworldly and intimately familiar. The landscape is depicted with a haunting beauty, vast, empty expanses contrasted with the delicate luminescence of the lunar moss and the night lily flower. The desert's isolation is visually rendered through muted, earthy tones that accentuate Anya's solitude and the harsh realities of her role. Each illustration is meticulously crafted, from the shape of the landscape resting in the distance to the subtle textures of the desert sand. This creates a palpable sense of place, drawing readers into a world where every visual element contributes to the story's mood and atmosphere. Anya, the protagonist, is a compelling character whose personal journey is both touching and relatable. Her role as a moth keeper places her in a position of great responsibility, and O'Neill captures the complexities of her character with nuance. Anya's initial excitement about her new role is portrayed with sincerity, reflecting her youthful idealism and eagerness to prove her Herself. As the story progresses, the emotional weight of her duties becomes increasingly evident. O'Neill explores Anya's internal struggle between her personal desires, such as experiencing the light of the sun just once, and her obligations to the village, revealing the sacrifices she must make. This internal conflict is handled with great sensitivity, portraying Anya as a multidimensional character who evolves through her experiences. Her moments of vulnerability and resilience are depicted with empathy, making her journey profoundly engaging. The narrative structure of the Moth Keeper unfolds with a graceful yet deliberate pace. The story begins by immersing readers in Anya's world and gradually introduces the central conflict that threatens her role in her village. O'Neill builds tension through a series of well-timed reveals, keeping readers invested in the outcome. The plot's progression mirrors Anya's emotional journey, starting with her enthusiastic embrace of her responsibilities and moving toward a climax that tests her resolve. The unfolding mystery regarding the threat to the lunar moss and the night lily adds a layer of suspense while also deepening the thematic exploration of duty and sacrifice. This careful pacing ensures that the journey remains engaging while allowing the themes to resonate fully. At its core, the Moth Keeper delves into themes of sacrifice and community. Anya's role as a moth keeper requires her to make personal sacrifices for the greater good, a concept that is illustrated through her isolation and the demanding nature of her duties. The graphic novel doesn't shy away from showing the emotional and physical toll of Anya's role, providing a realistic portrayal of the challenges involved. Her interactions with friends and villagers add another layer to the narrative, highlighting the importance of community and mutual support. These relationships are portrayed with authenticity, underscoring how Anya's sense of duty is intertwined with her connections to those around her. The balance between personal ambition and communal responsibility is a central theme, explored at length. The Moth Keeper is a deeply affecting work that resonates on an emotional level. O'Neill's ability to blend whimsical fantasy with real emotional stakes results in a story that is both enchanting and thought-provoking. The delicate balance between the magical elements and the personal struggles of the characters creates a narrative that is both immersive and meaningful. Readers are invited to reflect on their own experiences of responsibility, sacrifice, and the impact of their choices on those around them. In conclusion, K. O'Neill's The Moth Keeper is a beautifully crafted graphic novel that excels in its visual artistry, character development, and thematic depth. It is a compelling read that offers both a magical escape and a profound exploration of the nature of duty and personal growth. And overall, I've given it 3.5 out of 5 stars. And there you have it, my review of The Moth Keeper. What did you think of my review? Did I leave anything out? What did you think of this graphic novel if you've read it? What did you think of the art? Let me know down below in the comments. I always like to know what you lovely kings, queens, and in-betweens think. And if you like what you saw here today, please smash that like button until it's blue. Subscribe, ring that bell so you'll always know what's up, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys!